All right, hello everybody. What we're doing today is we are factoring by grouping. And so what this procedure is, is we're gonna start first by looking for some common factors. Now just looking at this, I see a couple of things. I see a two and a six. There's gonna be a greatest common factor there. I see an A term here and there's another A over here. So there's gonna be a GCF there as well. So when we're factoring by grouping, we're really just using the associative property of addition. And what I like to do is I just like to copy the problem down a second time. And then I'm just going to associate these first two terms together and the second two terms together. And we know that if this is all addition, the associative property of addition allows us to add in any order we want. Um, we can change that association. And now that I have these parentheses there, I can look for a greatest common factor. So the GCF of 2x and 6 is just 2. So what we'll do is we will just factor out a 2. And what we're left with, well, 2 times x is 2x, 2 times 3 is 6 plus, and we're going to factor out the greatest common factor here, which is a. If I factor out an a, a times x is ax, a times 3 is 3a. And this is kind of a neat, um, really neat thing. Now, what you might notice from the last couple of days when you've been factoring out a binomial common factor. Um, look what magically appears here. We have an x plus 3 in this term, and we also have an x plus 3 in that term. So we can actually factor out that binomial common factor just as we did the last couple of days. So what I'll do is I'll start by writing out the x plus 3 first. And now again, we're just distributing using the distributive property backwards. So x plus 3 times something that goes here is 2 times x plus 3. That one thing is a 2. x plus 3 times something is my second whole term, x plus 3 times a. So I have 2 plus a. So this all factors out as x plus 3 times 2 plus a. Um, if I want to check my work, I can absolutely do that. And maybe I would take this um, binomial here uh, my answer, which was x plus 3 times 2 plus a, and I could FOIL this out. We can multiply this out, and we should get what we started with here uh, for our original problem. So what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and do that first on this first problem to uh, make sure that this method works. So x times 2, our first terms, is 2x. x times a, I always like to write the uh, letter that comes first in the alphabet first, ax. My inside terms, 3 times 2 is plus 6. And my last terms, 3 times a is 3a. So then we can compare this to our original problem. We have 2x, we have a 2x. We have an ax, we have an ax. We have a 6, we have a 6. They're not, and we have a 3a, we have a 3a. So they're not in the exact same order. But again, that does not matter because of the commutative property of addition, which tells us that uh, we can rearrange the order of those terms as well. So this is my answer. It's a binomial times a binomial. Let's try